Larry Nichols was on with us for an hour last week. He's on with us for an hour today. Then Max Kaiser joins us on the economy. Just since I've had him on, I've seen a whole bunch of Democratic Party and White House connected hit pieces from Media Matters, you name it, doing the old tried and trusted thing they would do back in the 1990s. The Clinton Library, of course, was uh, forced to release via Fourier earlier this year to the Western Journalism Center thousands of pages of documents. And in there, uh, we see the Clintons, right when they were elected, ordering the media in private meetings to call anyone that criticized them conspiracy theorist and how to attack them saying they make money off of their conspiracy theories. And there are not one, not two, not three, but many more than that. I can't even count them all today. Articles about how I'm making all this money. And we're seeing the direct Clinton talking points right there. My gosh, Alex brings in more than $10 million a year. Why, you couldn't run this operation in New York City for $50 million a year. And it's not bad if I make money. But the main reason we run this is to stop the globalist, to stop TPP, to stop the open borders, to stop the gun control. <clears throat> the Clintons can raise hundreds of millions of dollars from third world dictators, giving money to their foundation and ship weapons to them after they're paid off. They can steal money from Haitian kids, and that's okay because they're the Clintons. But I try to raise enough money to pay for 50-plus employees to send them all over the world to pay for the servers, the building, the insurance, the lawyers, the loss, all of it. We are an incredibly moral organization. We're also capitalists, though. I got a little bit of money saved in case I get sued or in case I, I get put in prison or killed or whatever for my family. You bet I do. But I'm not going to be guilted into the idea that it's bad that we have a media organization. But that's what the Clintons did. And that's their talking point. I'll be on national TV and they'll go, yeah, you just want to make money. And I'm like, well, what do you do as Fox or CNN or MSNBC? Investigative report, Nightline, Jones, building media empire. Tiny compared to what they do. And done selling good products directly to our audience. High quality nutraceuticals, high quality non-GMO seeds, high quality Patriot apparel. Of, of course we are capitalist. Most revolutionaries rob banks and stagecoaches, you know, like some of the founders did, and, and rob British ships to, to, to fund the revolution. That'd be moral, quite frankly, at this point, but I'm not going to do that. So see, the old revolutionaries could 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 you know rob a, a, a British gold delivery, and that's patriotic. But I'm here selling high-quality products competitively at InfoWarsStore.com and Amazon.com. And everybody else is allowed to sell stuff but me. Because the moral high authority says it's bad. Brian Williams can get $10 million contract extension to a lot of the public. But that's what he's paid. Not the money we've got to make to pay for the infrastructure. I mean, quite frankly, I plow almost, when they would attack me, I'm going to Larry Nichols, 15, 16, 17 years ago, when I only had four or five employees. And when I was so neurotic and, and, and such a purist and actually listened to their propaganda, I would be in a working class neighborhood with a working class car and would put like 98% of the money in back into the operation. Because I wanted to fight the tyranny. I didn't do it because I was guilted, but but still it felt good because of how they were trying to guilt me to think, well, I really don't keep any money. Then I thought, you know what? I'm going to hire a bunch of people. I'm going to really go for broke. I'm going to try to really change history. It's my responsibility. And you know what? You don't like it. I'm going to get a decent car, and I'm going to live in a nice house for my kids. And you know what? You know what I'm going to do for the Democrats and others? I'm going to go ahead and expand and really be successful and get five times bigger. How's that sound? Because... I'm not going to sit here and watch you crooks that are selling our country out to the TPP and gutting our borders and, 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 and destroying our language and taking over and be guilted by you scum. You are sick. You are absolutely sick. And they play these mind games. Jones is scaring you about the TPP because he wants to make money. What? I was offered contracts to make way more money than I make now to sell out to the system. I've been approached by the biggest networks there are out there. 
and offered to be where Glenn Beck was before he even existed. I was approached by three of the biggest networks. And they told me, though, we're going to control what you say. We will have edit uh, editorial control and basically final cut. And I said, I can't control what I say. I just tell the truth. Well, don't you want a $5 million a year contract? And that isn't $5 million and you got to pay all the bills. And you got to pay payroll and got to pay for the servers. That's $5 million in my pocket. I'm so moral, it's disgusting. Because I'm not going to sell people out. It's nothing special that I did that, except in a nation of traitors, I guess it is. I couldn't sleep at night if I did that and get up on the radio and lie to people and tell them there's no new world order and sit there and tell them there's no FEMA camps and sit there and tell them all this stuff. And I mean, I will not be part of it. And the truth is, I and you, the audience, and our guests, we're going to Larry Nichols, have changed the destiny of things. You listen to Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, Sean Hannity, and all of them. We force them to admit global government and a corporate takeover. We forced the whole thing out in the open, and I'm so proud of that. That's what I was after. My goal, they say fortune favors the bold. That's the SAS uh, slogan. Well, my fortune's freedom for myself and my family and being an honorable person. There's nothing wrong with being successful as long as you didn't screw somebody to do it. In fact, that's how you build an economy. I'm proud of people that create an invention or build a company and, or, 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 or develop systems or write a book or play music and become wealthy. They're the people that buy houses and buy cars and go to restaurants and get their hair done and send their kids to college. You want wealthy people, but it's the wealthiest royalty and globalists who are exempt from taxes, always lecturing us who are down here with nothing that we're not supposed to have any prosperity. What a load of crud. So support us at InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com. You'll see me hire more reporters, hire more writers, get more people in the field, breaking more news, having a bigger effect, exposing so much. It's incredible. We salute you all. So click on the sponsors, support our products, spread the word about the transmission. They're angry at us, and we're willing to go all the way. Larry Nichols uh, is a fella who was inside the deepest areas of the Arkansas power structure. You don't get into the Arkansas power structure, at least then, without being part of the Dixie Mafia, which I'd call, call quasi-criminal. I mean, the Dixie Mafia operates right here in Austin. Most of it's legitimate now. It's some of the biggest names in the city made their money in the Dixie Mafia, shipping uh, you know, the liquor that was produced in Little Rock and uh, Hot Springs all over the country. Al Capone's main headquarters was there. So it, it, it's really just part of American culture. And I, I had family on my dad's side uh, who were, uh, you know, liquor runners in Texas uh, that were in the Dixie Mafia. But he was a high-level member of the Dixie Mafia. Clinton comes out of the Dixie Mafia and the CIA. Nichols also did special operations, which is classified. I know he can get into some of that. And I've kind of been running over him here uh, today because I got all mad by these news articles. Not really mad, just, just incensed. And I wanted to just throw out that he was there and then made a break with the Clintons when they started getting into really nasty stuff like, killing kids. Uh, so uh, kind of a real life Tony Montana joins us who wouldn't do the evil things and helped expose their whole agenda and warn that Hillary was coming. And now he's here to try to expose the whole thing. Uh, Larry Nichols, uh, LarryNichols.com. It's a third party site, but he, I guess he endorses it. Uh, and he's going to try to republish his book right now. And he also gives out his home number and his address. If you want to support him, he lost everything uh, by fighting these people. Uh, he's a great patriot, and, 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 and going up against the establishment right now is absolutely key. Uh, so, Larry Nichols, thank you so much for coming on with us. Hey, Alex, thank you. And by the way, I loved what you were talking about at the beginning. Folks, let me tell you, I, as you'll recall, Alex, with the Clinton Chronicles and the Circle of Power, they sold something like between all well, 20 million, uh, Jeremiah Thiem, 60 million, Huge, huge numbers of those things. And I, in the interest of trying to make sure nobody could discredit me and say I was doing it for money, never took one dime. And they offered me big money, but I wouldn't take it. The sad thing was, Alex, I read all over the world that I was taking the money anyway. I should have taken it. Because they said I was, and I took the licks anyway. A absolutely. I think we should spend the... F I'm going to skip this break to give you more time. <laughs> Spend some time on who Larry Nichols is and, and how you got into the Clintons and what you did, because 
you were one of the good guys on the inside. That was the point I was trying to make was you, you don't even get into the power structure without being part of it. Well, I, I was like, I just cannot say I was one of the good guys. I was in the middle of it. I did the nasty things. I did the dirty things. I, I meant compared totally to them. Cool. I meant compared to them. Oh, <laughs> yeah, compared to them. <laughs> yeah, you had to go some. But anyway, I was in there. It was my job. I was a handler for Bill Clinton and Hillary when they first started running for office. I was the marketing man, I guess you'd say, for them. It was my job to keep them out of trouble. It was my job to know everything and to be in a position to fix it. Whatever it was, I had to fix it. <laughs> By the way, Alex, today, before I came on with you, get a call from National Enquirer. And they said, Mr. Nicholas, so what? Do you know the chef that was killed or died, uh, you know, the White House chef? And I said, buddy, they're not even in the race good. And these mysterious deaths start all over again. Isn't that something, Alex? Here they go again. Absolutely. Do me a favor. Talk, 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 talk right into your phone money. for me, Larry. Oh, I'm sorry. And you want to talk, folks, about money and risk? Let me tell you what Alex Jones risk. Let me tell you what anybody risks that comes out against these guys. It's a good way to end up. Even though I don't say they kill people, but the people that support them, the people that make billions off of them, they tend the business on their own. And that was one of the things I learned. And then all of a sudden, I was at a place called the Arkansas Development Finance Authority. And there, Alex, it was there that I discovered $100 million a month coming into a place called Mena, Arkansas. <clears throat> to a man named Dan Lassiter, and they were smuggling cocaine in and laundering the money from the agency I was working at. Now, included in that cabal was Dan Lassiter, Bill Clinton's best friend, eventually went to jail. Don Tyson, Tyson Foods, y'all remember him, right? Remember him, Alex? Remember when I came out telling about the chicken trucks all on cocaine? Yes. I think you got threatened. <laughs> That's how he was able to leverage and take over the entire poultry market worldwide. Worldwide. When Bill Clinton was elected president, Alex, Don Tyson and Tyson Chicken Food was a little regional company. And then boom. Then you got Ron Brown, bless his heart. He got involved with helping Tyson take over Alaskan fisheries. He ends up dead. And by the way, even the Air Force coroner said he was shot in the head with a forty-five. That even came out in the I've news. Got, I've got the x-ray. I've got two, well, two makers came to see me. And they were the ones that did the actual autopsies. There was a sergeant, Alex, that was on that plane. She was like a stewardess. Can't remember her name right now. Now, when they got to the airplane, folks, she was sitting on a stump, and she was folded over, crying. <laughs> the rescue people came to her. She walked to the helicopter and was taken back to the emergency room at the airbase. However, when the helicopter landed at the airbase there in Germany, she was dead. Now, oddly enough, her brain stem was completely severed. Now, Alex, you know, most of y'all know, she could not have her brain stem severed and be sitting on a stump and walk to the elevator and sure. walk to the helicopter. Can't do it. The brain stem being severed is a military operation where you grab the chin in the back of the head and you spin real fast. So, yeah, you know, this is going to be a ride. I never will forget, Alex. I think you will too. Remember the gentleman that I had that was going to testify, testify about Whitewater and Hillary's involvement. We find out that he's at a dump in uh, Saline County. <clears throat> now, folks, it's a true story. He cut his hands, cut his feet off, cut his head off down to the brainstem, set himself on fire with gasoline and threw himself in the dust.
and the and the state medical examiner ruled it a suicide, didn't he? Sure did. That's and Arkansas. Now, ruled it a suicide. Arkansas. That's what I told that reporter for the inquiry. He said, I never heard that. I said, yeah, well, you will. So here we go. Folks, I'm telling you, every week I hope Alex lets me. I'm going to tell you the story of Hillary. Don't believe what you think you know about Hillary, folks. You, you don't know Hillary. I do. Alex does. Alex is one of the few, very, very few people back during the Clinton's day that actually troubled to send people here to see if I was lying. No, I could have been lying. Alex sent people here. You know, well, Larry, enough about me. You're a man. sweetheart. I, I, I want to come back in the next segment, but we got six minutes till break. But because you are so interesting, Describe what you can about secret government operations, how you got in to the whole Clinton uh, uh, surrounding group, just so people know who you are. Most folks do, but but uh, all the old timers, but for new folks, and then why Hillary? <clears throat> why wow, Hillary's so dangerous? Yeah, it's a weird, it's a wild story, Alex can tell you that. Anyway, folks, just know this. I was in Nicaragua fighting with the conquer, and then I heard from Adolfo Calero that drugs are coming back in. Now, so I'm doing this work at the same time I'm a handler for Bill and Hillary. It was just the way the industry was in that day. So I would go get involved with the Contras, come back, and while I was back coming off, I'd be with Bill. Bill liked to hear all the war stories, some of which I made up, but he liked to hear them. It just drove him crazy. And I became more and more involved. And then, Hillary hated me. She hated Dick Moore. She hated me more. And Hillary, folks, in that day, I don't know who today, she's 70 now, nearly. In that day, she was ACDC. It was hard enough to cover up for the affairs of Bill. But it was extremely difficult to cover up for Hillary in her lesbian affairs. And it was tough. And she was tough. She's a butch in a queer affair. Lesbian affair. She's the male dominant. And buddy, she is dominant. And Bill Clinton <clears throat> said time and time again he had had more women, or she had had more women than he had. And Alex will remember the time to show you what kind of woman this was. Hillary Clinton Two Secret Service agents in the White House heard all this racket up in the living quarters. They go up, there's stuff breaking. They don't know whether to go in because you're not supposed to, but things were breaking. They barged in, and there was Hillary in bed with Marky Post, you know, night court, that blonde. They were in bed together, and Bill pulled up a chair and wanted to watch, and Hillary was throwing ashtrays and lamps at him. That's the sicko people. We call the Clintons. It's actually quite interesting. Well, remember the FBI agent that was in the White House that even took exposed that they had crack pipes and Mao Zedong ornaments on the Christmas tree? And, and, and again, it just shows who goes to the trouble to desecrate a Christmas tree. It just shows they're deviant. Yeah, and, and look, guys, I'm not here to smear them. What I'm here to do is give you a character profile of these people because it's up to us. You know, Alex, it's up to your audience. Three, four million people. That's how many you got because I've been there talk to all of them. You've got three, four million people. That's the army we got to stop them with. And you got to know who they are. Well, you and, and they you are. know, it's one thing if Hillary's in bed with a bunch of women, uh, you know, obviously she, you know, that's all come out now. You were the first to talk about it, but Clinton settled the lawsuits where he rapes the women, and he brutally does it. That's right. Bill Clinton is a sexual deviant, folks. Sexual deviant. He's not just a good old boy chasing women. No, he's sick. He is sick. And I hate to tell you all this, Hillary is sick. And the only thing I can tell most of you at this point, I'm glad she did what she did. In the Benghazi hearing, when she said, What difference does it make their dead? 
But y'all saw what Hillary was. That's Hillary. And I'll tell you, most of you don't remember the endless hearing after hearing after hearing when Hillary said, I can't recall. I don't remember. She would remember, Alex, she would remember everything to the nth detail. And then we get to this one minute segment that might be incriminating. And she didn't remember. And people didn't know what was going on. Well, we trained them to know in a court of law, folks, if you say yes or no, you can be proven to commit uh, a lie of perjury. If you say you don't know, nobody on earth can prove what you can or can't remember. In fact, and that's what we trained Hillary to do. And that's what she did. And she walked through those hearings. And by the way, folks, in case you don't know, Hillary was so mean, so dishonest, so deceitful that she worked on the prosecution team after Richard Nixon. But they kicked her off because she was so unprofessional. That's right. Larry Nichols, stay there. We'll be back. Larry Nichols, the consummate insider that helped get the Clintons wind up for the power structure of Arkansas, which Arkansas, more than any state, is run by the Dixie Mafia. Major newspapers, TV, everything. You're either part of that inside group or you don't operate in business, basically. Um, that's why they love the Clintons, because you either love the Mafia, Don, or you're done. You've got who Clinton's mother was, uh, Lady of the Night, all of it. Notice she died right when he started running for office or right when he's about to get elected, just like Obama's uh, grandma and all the rest of it. I mean, these are ruthless people that will do anything for power, and they get off on it, and, and that's why they want full control. I want to go inside their psychology, and I forgot to tell Larry, he's doing a great job, but his phone's lower than it was last time to try to really get in on that mic, and to understand their psychology. It's not fun to go up against these people, but we're going to lose everything if we don't. The Republicans are voting with the Democrats tomorrow to pass TPP that makes the president a dictator, and brings us into the world government. The Pope called for world government last week. The Clintons are just really nasty characters in all this that know where the bodies are buried for the larger global mafia, and they will do anything they're told. But if I was the elite, I wouldn't even put them in there as bad as the elite are because they'll double-cross them. I mean, they are dangerous from what I know. We'll see if Larry Nichols disagrees with that. Uh, Larry didn't ask me to do this. He's trying to get his book republished. It was a bestseller. He's working on some other things. Um, you know, he is risking his life doing this. Uh, and if folks want to support him or folks want to write him a letter or folks want to work with him, he's trying to organize people to get him, you know, on more shows to expose the Clintons. Uh, you can write to Larry Nichols, 58 Kingston Drive, Conway, Arkansas, 72034. Larry Nichols, 58. Kensington Drive, Conway, Arkansas, 72034. LarryNichols.com is a third-party site, but he uh, endorses it. From what last time I heard, we can ask him on air. But you need to understand, folks, that we're a platform for all these other activists and patriots and people that are under attack as well. Um, I don't want to mess with the Clintons. Um, when they were in, uh, I was called in and I was told, don't talk about Waco, don't talk about the Clintons. Don't talk about all this stuff or you're going to be fired off I had the number one talk show in town at 24. Been on the air three years. Um, by then, I'd already started a little syndicated show out of my house, thank God. Uh, and they fired me. Then they uh, physically attacked me. Uh, and they didn't say this is a message from the Clintons. They said, quit talking about Waco, quit messing with that you know, judge. I was having demonstrations. Uh, they had the Klan come out against me. This is all on video. Um, and they really run a lot of underground stuff because you're dealing with the Dixie Mafia interface with these globalists. I mean, it is truly a sickening uh, symbiosis. And I want to get Larry Nichols' take on what Hillary will do when she gets in. Because if you think Obama's been bad, he's been quasi-run by the Clintons. Katie bar the door, they like to crush good people. They like to go after folks that stood up against them. Um. They are truly wicked people. 
And remember Hillary laughing about Gaddafi destabilizing Africa, putting Al-Qaeda in charge? I came, we saw, we killed him. So we'll talk to Larry Nichols here in a moment. Uh, I would appreciate if folks would pray for this broadcast, pray for our affiliates, support our local sponsors, become a local sponsor, put a billboard up for Infowars.com uh, if you've got the money. This is the time when if good men and women take action in little ways and big ways and medium-sized ways, they may even get into power, and it may be the beginning of the end of these people because Obama already woke the country up. Imagine Hillary. But they are incredibly arrogant. But the good news is we've had the CIA whistleblowers on, famous ones, Tosh Plumley, who I want to get back on, and many others. And the military, Colonel Schaefer, Admiral Moore, former chairman of the Joint Chiefs, countless others, Benton K. Parton, the list goes on and on who have woken up the military. So the good news is the military is one of the most awake groups. And they're beginning to understand what's happening. A lot of the local police are as well. That's why they want to federalize things. This is very serious. Uh, but it's very important to also go to InfoWarsStore.com and buy the books, the videos, the T-shirts, the products. We've got 20% off still running. They haven't gotten rid of that special. It was supposed to go last Wednesday. So it'll go tomorrow. We're going to get rid of it today on the ProPure G2 filters uh, in the pitcher form, uh, it's 20% off, huge discount on that. Best deal you're going to find anywhere. Cuts out the glyphosates, the fluoride, basically all of it. Uh, we have 20% off until they sell out. We did sell out of the George Washington uh, single run uh, belt buckles. We have the three different designs of Molon Labe. One of them sold out. 20% off on that, made in America until those sell out. Uh, and that special is going. And then we have uh, Liver Shield, our new product out that's on record with these known herbs to flush out the liver. You can also do the deep flush. That informational video uh, is on the page. If you scroll down right there on the Liver Shield page, you can uh, see that the informational video has now been posted at InfoWarsLife.com. So you can uh, watch that video and, and see how to do the deep cleanse. Uh, simply amazing. Infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139. But Larry, you're a classy guy you know, from the South, so you keep thanking me and giving me credit. I want to give you credit as well. But beyond that, talk about what they'll do if they get full control. This is clearly their end game. They want to graduate to the world government level. Bill Clinton has said that. Obama has said that. And then getting into... Why do you expose them when you could have just stayed in with them? When was the moment when you'd already done all this dirty stuff that you had that come to Jesus moment, that Saul of Tarsus moment on the roads to Damascus? Because I know I'm risking my life. I mean, it, it, it's there's a level in me that says don't do this that I have to get past every time, especially when they're getting ready to run for office and they're heating up that says, listen, uh, you know, you got the sword of Damocles there, but I... It's in my gut. I can't go on living if I don't fight them. I can't sell out to fear. Plus, they're going to take over everything and destroy our country. We Somebody's got to say no. I mean, I think it comes down to that. Why do you fight them, Larry Nichols? Alex, it came down to me when I went to work at ADFA, and I was marketing director and handling everything, and I found out that cocaine was being shipped into MENA. And it was being laundered by the state group that I was covering up for. And I realized, Alex, that if my daughter got hooked on cocaine, she and Chelsea are the same age, played together. If she got hooked on cocaine, I couldn't live with myself. And we found out my dad was dying of lung cancer, something I'm doing now myself. But at that time, to be honest, Alex, I couldn't live with my father, the salt of the earth, Knowing his son was as terrible as I was, and I just made my decision. I reached out, touched, touched the floor. I was sitting in a chair, and I touched the floor with my fist, and I said, God, I'm at the bottom. Ain't nothing but up from here. And I got after it. Now, I didn't intend for it to be quite the marathon that it became. I didn't intend to be in every newspaper, TV, magazine article in the free world. I didn't intend for all that, but that's where it ended up. And we're not done yet. Alex, the reason all of you must fight, all of you, you got to come to the terms Alex did. <clears throat> Folks, they're going to take it. They're going to take it. You're going to fight them 
at some point you're either going to be in submission and it's going to be too late to fight. That's it. I just can't submit and be bound. I, I just My instinct is I got to fight them. Well, that's where you are now. And folks, listen to me. Please. You can get a hold of me through an email at NicholsLive at AOL.com. Thanks to you, Alex, a gentleman. Ken Cartier. Ken Cartier said he'd help me. He'd make sure he answered all the emails and got them to me. Fantastic. Never had that before. And then we're redoing the genies out of the bottle. Why do the genies out of the bottle, folks? Because it, I wrote it to tell you exactly what they would do, how they do it, why they do it, and you'll know ahead of time. And that's how we grow your audience, Alex. You know, when I've been telling all these people, and I guarantee it's been a lot. I've been telling people, gosh, guys, we got to spread the word. And the biggest mistake, Alex, we as conservatives that have seen the light make is somebody says, well, hey, what do you think about that Hillary? And then, Alex, we just OD and tell them everything we know in a split second. And their eyes start rolling back in their head and calling us conspiracy nuts. I am going to tell you, remember, Alex, what we did before? The scandal a week. I'm going to tell you every week one thing that you're going to tell people that ask you. And then they're going to prove it that week, and they're going to say, whoa, how did you know that? And Alex, I gave my phone number, 440-897-0611. And everybody said, good God, you put your number out. And on Alex Jones's program, that's risky because you don't get a lot of calls. But I'll tell you, Alex, your audience was reverent. They were not abusive, respectful. It's an honor. It's oh, it's an honor to have this audience. It's, it's it's because I get pretty obnoxious, oh, and, right. and and they're really amazing people. Let me ask you this question, because I know that moment I, many times when it'll be like two, three in the morning. Because I'm not afraid right now, but sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I go look at my children in the moonlight. And I just think, my God, how did I ever get into all this? This is so dangerous. This is so real. We know how real it is. When we get the death threats, the attacks, we see it. And it's that exact thing. I'll just get down on my knees and realize that if I give in to the, these people and if I back off and if I ever even take one move towards not going all the way, it's a sellout and my soul's on the line. I, I realize that. But what about the general public that's in a malaise and never had that decision come to them in their heart where, where, where you're, you're convicted by God, that's what it is, or conscience, whatever atheists want to call it, you're convicted by it, and then you've got to make the decision. A lot of people I know have never had that conviction. And I think the most important is we need to convict America's heart to realize, folks, you think stuff's bad now. Look at how it's all speeding up. I mean, we are in deep you-know-what. We are in it. And it's, I mean, how bad is it going to get, Larry, in your gut, knowing everything you know, how bad is it going to get if these people get full power again? Because I can just see it written on their faces. They're going for broke. Hell, they'll probably start nuclear war with the Russians. They're crazy. They're crazy. I'll tell you exactly how it's going to be. 2016, if we don't get together, if we don't draw people to this program and grow an audience, and by audience, I mean an army. And other shows, too. don't put it in your book, put it in the book. 2016 to be the last damn election this country ever had. Now, there'll be elections like Cuba, I don't say that. Russia. But there won't be any elections after 2016. And I can prove it. And I will prove it. We'll prove it, Alex. We'll prove it. But folks, I'm telling you, Hillary is about power. Do you understand? You know now all of you how much damn money they got through that foundation. Why would somebody, Alex, 70 years old with all that money, why wouldn't they just go out to pasture? Tower. Dictatorial tower. Are you still there? Did yes, I am. I'm just thinking... Uh, and, 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 well, I'm telling you, it's power. It's uh, power and the Clintons are getting worse, aren't they? I mean, they seem to get more you evil bet. as time goes on. For yourself, think about it. 
Don't you know they need that job of president like they need to hold my hand? They're missing something, folks. This is a this is a dynamic duo. Had I not have lived with them, lived in the house with them, had I not have been there and seen it, you don't realize these people aren't Mr. and Miss America. This is the most dysfunctional couple you've ever, ever, ever met. Number one, Kelsey, bless her heart, to Bill's credit. Kelsey's not Bill's kid. That's Webb Hubble's kid, and I proved it. Now, to his credit, he raised her, treated her like a father. Hillary be gone. You remember that, don't you, Alex? When you talked to Larry Patterson, Roger Perry, the state police security guard, she'd be gone six weeks on the road, come back and pat her on the head like a dog. Never say anything to her. These people, these people want your soul. I know it sounds crazy, y'all. I know it does. But you, what do I have to do? What have I got to give up? I have given up our home. I have given up everything my family has ever had. And you tell me for what the hell, what the hell did I get out of it, huh? Why does a man do that? Why does a man look at his family at night and can't keep the tears back because I've destroyed them? Why does a man do that? Ain't no money there. Well, it's because you know that you can't join with the evil. And we, how do we get America and the world to force them to make the choice? The Bible says you were lukewarm. I spit you out of my mouth. America is lukewarm. It's why we either join right. with the evil or, 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 or don't. All right. That's, that's where it is. It's an either or. We're in the ultimate either or game. If so, then so. Because of Alex, I have this lady that's going to reprint the genius out of the box. It's be done in a month. Now, you can go, get this, folks. You can go to listenupaudiobooks.com and get your list name on the list. And, Alex, this book is about how they do what they do. And you have to know they're going to do exactly what I tell them to do. It's the Clinton, it, it's the Clinton playbook. It's the playbook. And if they, and what frustrates them, I don't know if you remember it, but a couple of weeks ago, that ABC guy called me, asked the guy at ABC, I'll tell you his name off air, you know, went to this gathering, there was been plenty of show, what do you think Hillary's problem to be, da da da, and who do you think the top three people, you know, Hillary will have to worry about, and he said, Larry Nichols, Larry Nichols, Larry Nichols, and not in that order. Now, folks, I saw that on like the New York Times. Ass is attacking you. For folks that don't know who you are, most do. Um, why haven't they, I mean, I know they've shot at you, threatened you, done a lot of stuff to you. When we come back, we know they want to get you. They could. I wonder why I'm still alive while you're still alive. It's probably God. Plus, they don't want to make us martyrs. But some of their idiot supporters might come after us, but that'll probably blow up in their face. Uh, the answer is what Jim Garrison said. Stay in the light. Stay in the light. Larry Nichols, straight ahead. Then we've got Max Kaiser on the economy and more. We are being conquered right now. The TPP is set to pass the Senate tomorrow. They say they've got the votes. We'll be breaking it down with Max Kaiser coming up. We've got Larry Nichols five minutes of the next hour. We're going to start having Larry on every few weeks to go over different chapters of this. And the next time he's on, take your phone calls for an hour with your question on the Clintons. But I feel weird, even though I get animated and yell and stuff sometimes out of frustration, sitting here calmly talking about the TPP that is the most transparently tyrannical piece of garbage ever. And by transparent, it's completely opaque. It's completely secret. The sections that have been leaked are nightmare. It transfers total power to the president and foreign groups. Imagine what comes next. Amazing video, last chance to stop fast track Senator Sessions up on Infowars.com. And coming up, $140 billion bond fund goes to cash as it, quote, braces for bond market collapse. We'll talk about that with Kaiser. Terminal coming to the markets. Prepare for bear markets and bonds. Ron Paul. Warren Buffett basically says the same thing. He should know he's a major mafia don of the wasp mob. But he's a nice little old man with an ice cream, so he's nice.
I mean, the mob's only Italians, right? That's what I heard on TV because the media doesn't stereotype things. This is mind control. I'll get into the whole battle flag of Northern Virginia. It's not the Confederate flag. It's known by that. I'm going to break down what's behind that because if they can ban that, they can ban everything, folks. It's about getting rid of language. I don't have a dog in the fight here. The point is that's what it's about. One racist, racist crazy uses something, and then now it's got to be banned. The American flag flew over more slaves than the Confederate ever did. We're going to talk about that. But Larry Nichols, we're going to break here in a few minutes. You'll have five more minutes on the other side. Um, I don't wish ill on anybody because I think it's bad luck just in my gut. Plus, I'll expose the Clintons, but I'm not going to sit there and wish harm on them because that really, I just feel, opens a, meta, a metaphysical door uh, for them to be able to attack me. I think, I don't like to shoot my mouth off is my point. But I, I do hope that her health, which we know is deteriorated, steps in um, and that, you know, God move against these people. It's not just us politically. If we do the right thing, you know, hopefully Hillary will just retire. I mean, what about health problems with her? We know her and Bill have partied quite a bit. Yeah, I don't I don't see her health problems being a deterrent at all. What we have to do, Alex, is realize one day every man, woman, and child listening right now is going to meet our maker. And you're going to have to answer, every one of us, you're going to have to answer, what did you do when these people were destroying the country God gave us? What are you going to do? And folks, I'm going to tell them I did everything I could. And I'm going to tell you, every person here, if Alex will let me come on, let's say next week, whatever's good for you, Alex, I want everybody listening to me to bring another person with you to listen. That's how we grow our army. And then next week, I will give y'all and your person you brought with you the damnedest true scandal you would have ever heard. Well, that's Everybody. right. The key is the people. And you're using the show as a microcosm. Bring somebody to the show. Bring them to the information we're putting out and to others. And that's how we're going to win is word of mouth. And you're absolutely right. Larry Nichols is our guest back in 70 seconds for five more minutes with him. I'm going to give him the floor to cover whatever he wants. Then we're going to get into the global meltdown that is really building steam, unfortunately. Stay with us. I'm just saying what Larry Nichols is saying is true. Now it's much more dangerous what I do than it's ever been. And in the still of the night, in that quiet place the most high, a lot of, you know, atheists ask me, I see the emails, the comments. Man, we're sick of hearing about God. You know, we want the info. We're libertarians or whatever, but please shut up about it. Hey, listen, call it a psychological blanket or whatever. When you have responsibility in children and when you're messing with killers and you're messing with people that are taking over, I couldn't do this without my relationship with God. Okay? Because I fear God doing the wrong thing. Like Larry Nichols feared making his daddy feel bad. That's an extension, an example of that. He didn't want to do that in front of God or his dad. And to continue down the road because he had a conscience. And we're dealing with people that don't have a conscience. And when you fight these people all day long, you realize when you don't have a conscience or you give yourself away, you go to rock bottom of evil. You become a demon. And so we're fighting demons, whether it's archetypal or whatever you want to call it, we're fighting demons. And the evil's growing. No one can deny that. And that's why I talk a lot about God because when it's in the still of the night and I wake up and my flesh says, you got to stop doing this, man, you're in danger. Kind of like back when I used to drive a car 150 miles an hour. And I, and, you know, I said, you know what, I'm growing up. I, you know, my wife's pregnant. I better stop driving fast. It's the same thing. It's danger, Will Robinson. You got to quit right now. And it's the same thing. But in my mind, God touches me and says, listen, you think about all these innocent people they've killed, what we're going to do to everybody, you've got to stand against them, and then I have comfort. Only got about three minutes left. Larry Nichols, closing comments, and we'll get you back on next week to break one of those major scandals and also um, take some phone calls. Larry Nichols, go ahead. You bet. Well, let me just say this once again, Alex. Thank you for letting me come on. This is where I'll hug. This is where I'll be. This is where I will break a scandal every week. Now, to show you a little bit of what I'm talking about, Alex, 
One thing you and I got a rule we had before, and I hope we have it again. If you ever catch me lying, you will come on the air and call me a liar and destroy me everywhere you can. But, Larry, everything you said's basically already come out and been proven true. I mean, we know you're telling the truth. <laughs> well, I know there's some more I'm going to tell you. That was all about Bill here. Bill, typically, let me give you one. Just a sample of what you need to bring somebody next week with you to this program. Y'all may not know it. But back when Hillary was first lady, she would go home the weekends to California with Linda Budworth Thomason and some of the others, ladies did design and women. And they were they went to a church for witches. 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 Now, do you want your president? Remember that lady that was trying to run for the Senate and sometimes she'd gone to some place where they did witch stuff? Hillary went to a church and worshipped Satan. You want me to bring the state police that were with it? Do you want me to tell you? Wow. Well, 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 I know actually some of that president. came out, and Tony Blair's wife does that too. That came out in the news. Yeah. yeah well, here we go, folks. We're going to learn about the real Hillary and what's scary, Alex, what I think is scaring the hell out of you. There are people that love them no matter what. And they'll do what they got to do to protect them. They don't need somebody to tell them to go shoot somebody. What about John Hinckley? What about that kind of people? That's what Alex Jones faces. Me too, I guess. But just know this, folks. You're either going to be in submission or you're going to win for your family. And there's got to be something in every one of y'all out there, there's got to be something in your home, someone, some cow, some dog, some car, something that you love so much that you'll forego all of the humiliation, all of the everything. To protect it. Great points. We'll talk to you again next Wednesday if you can do it.